have looked more like a duck's tailgate, but these students weren't doing any pregame celebrating. Ain't no power like the power of the students, cause the power of the students don't stop! They came to talk politics. We showed up for them and now we're coming for reciprocity. Hundreds, including PSU student Julie Phillips, came out to demand lawmakers deliver on a promise to restore funding to higher education. But it is hard to manage time because with schooling, I'm going full time, taking 17 credits. I work four days a week and I'm on the dance team and I also volunteer with ASPSU, which is one of the reasons why I'm here today. <laughs> She's got a lot on her plate. Even with tuition help from her parents, she couldn't afford to buy all her textbooks she needed this term. We need to change the culture to value education. So she had her friends take pictures of the pages she needed to keep up with the rest of the class. It's extremely frustrating because I feel like I'm not getting as good of an education as I should be because I don't have the physical textbook in front of me to go off of. Reinvest in students. Phillips says her in-state tuition is about three grand a term, about one third of what out-of-state students like Brianna Holgate have to dish out, she's already feeling the weight of her student loans. It affects the way that you can buy a house or you can get a car or like decide what you want to do with the rest of your life. This is what democracy looks like! She came here from Missouri, attracted to PSU for its strong film school. Tuition free! Now she's hoping lawmakers can at least freeze tuition at current levels so her future debt doesn't keep piling up. I think my total for this year is 40000 and that's more than my parents make in a year. <laughs>